Hey guys, in this video, in the next couple of videos, let's have a quick look at Otto Keras, which is still emerging, but very powerful, I should say. Now, Otto Keras, as the name suggests, it is doing something in an automatic way. What is it doing? It's actually uh, trying to find the best model for you for the given problem, okay? So uh, in a way, it's making machine learning or deep learning accessible to everyone. So whether you are a financial you know, uh, analyst or whether you're working with uh, other types of structured data or you're trying to classify your images, you may not know exactly what model works best, but Autokeras is a way of actually testing these different models and uh, identifying the right model for the type of uh, data that you're working with. And uh, because it's working with different models, it will be slow but uh, that's why it can be helpful if you can implement this in, for example, uh, Colab or even on a workstation that you don't want to touch for like a few hours, okay? But first, let's get into how to install this. How does it look? Just get a quick feel for it. And in the next couple of tutorials, let's just focus on one problem at a time uh, so you get a better idea of what we are talking about. Now, first of all, let's jump to the code. I'll get back to the web page showing you the details. I just want to show you the reason why we need Autokeras, okay? So here is uh, some code from uh, that I covered in videos 154, 155. This is breast cancer data set, a, uh, a CSV file basically, and a whole bunch of parameters or features if you want to call it. And then we did some data handling. And uh, again, we'll work on this in the next tutorial. But then we looked at, okay, uh, how does the model, you know, a complex network look like? Are we overfitting, underfitting? Again, we talked about this in the previous video. This is still a great way of learning how to, you know, engineer your model. And then we looked at my, uh, complex network, and then we looked at a simple network where we have like only a couple of dense layers, and then each of this, so auto, uh, ML or Autokeras, what it is doing is it's basically going through all of this. In addition, it's also tuning hyperparameters, which is, for example, uh, which activation function, like ReLU activation function, or what activation function is best, okay? And uh, also a couple other hyperparameters in terms of tuning them. So if you really don't want to get into all of that and just let Autokeras take care of this engineering of this model part, then you're watching the right tutorial, okay? Now, uh, same with uh, the CIFAR dataset. Again, we covered this in video 143 when we talked about multi-class classification. Again, here we also experimented with a couple of different types of models. And I try to do this in most of the time, right? I mean, we experiment with models and which works and which doesn't work and that kind of stuff. Okay, so AutoML, if you actually go to their website right here, Sorry, I keep saying AutoML because AutoKeras is kind of like AutoML. AutoML is from Google. AutoKeras is by these guys from Texas A&M. And it's still in development phase, but the f I see the future to be a bit promising because we all want to spend more time working with the data, understanding the results, but not necessarily engineer different things, you know, as part of uh, uh, your deep learning model. So their goal is to make machine learning accessible for everyone, okay? And these are the steps. So now let's actually go through how the steps that I took in terms of getting my system ready for uh, for AutoML and you, uh, for AutoKeras. And even if you're working on Colab, these steps can actually work very well. Okay. So let's jump into my uh, let's jump into my system, and then let me go ahead and walk you through each and every step here. Okay. Okay, as of first week of October 2020, autokeras.com says you need Python 3 and TensorFlow 2.3 or greater uh, for you to install Autokeras. And instead of installing in my current installation environment, I'd like to create a new environment in case things get messed up. So let me open Anaconda Navigator. And again, depending on what IDE you're using, your process may be uh, different. As you can see, I already have a few different types of environment, one for GPU. So to create one for this, I'm gonna go and click on environments here. Create a new environment by clicking this button, give it a name. Let's call it Auto um, Keras. And uh, let's pick Python 3.7, which is the latest version because we know it only works for 3.5 or later. Well, let's click on create and it does take some time as it needs to, you know, install the 
libraries and all that. So let's give it a few minutes. Okay, so it successfully set up our environment. So let's go back to our home. And one thing we need to do is install our IDE. In this case, uh, we're gonna use Spider. So let's go ahead and click Spider here. Again, this is gonna take some time. Okay, so, so far we just installed a new environment. I mean, created a new environment and installed Spider in that environment. So let's go ahead and launch it. So now we can get ready for our auto keras. So let's click launch and install all the required auto keras, uh, you know, and its dependencies right in this environment. Okay, so now we have our Spider ready. So let's get back to our auto keras documentation and see what we need to do. First thing first, install TensorFlow. Well, you can click on this installation. You can just do pip install TensorFlow, but go through this documentation again. Because we're talking about Auto Keras, let's not worry about older versions of TensorFlow uh, or any of these. Let's directly go ahead and install pip install TensorFlow, which I think they have given it, uh, if I scroll down, down here, you see the pip. It says pip install minus minus upgrade TensorFlow, which is fine. If you have existing ones, it's going to upgrade it to the latest version. So let's copy that, come back, paste it here. Okay, and now you have your uh, pip install upgrade TensorFlow again. This will take a couple of uh, minutes. Well, not that long, but let's give it some time. Now let's make sure once it's done, we can import TensorFlow and then uh, print out the version number. So import TensorFlow as TF. Hit return and uh, now let's uh, check the version number. So TF dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore. It says 2.3.1. So is that good enough? Yes, it's greater than or equal to 2.3.0. So we're all set with TensorFlow. What next? We have to install this dependency called Keras Tuner. So let's copy that and go ahead and do pip install. On my system, I do exclamation because I want to run it uh, from the command. So uh, don't worry about it. If pip doesn't work, do exclamation and do pip install. Okay, so that line is done. Now let's copy pip install auto Keras. Let's go ahead and run this from our uh, console right here. There you go, and now let's install Auto Keras. Well, that was a bit faster than I thought, but uh, let's see if it's working. So first of all, one basic check, import Auto Keras as AK. I'm not sure what all of that stuff is because this is literally the first time I'm importing it. So let's hope everything went well. Again, it's very important for you to see all the issues that I am seeing, just in case. Okay, so uh, let's uh, actually go ahead and uh, test this. Okay, what shall we do? Let's actually define a classifier. Let's call it CLF. And uh, let's assign to one of the modules within our auto keras. So I know there is something called um, image uh, classifier. So let's go ahead and do that. And if this works, we should be fine. Okay, so I think I feel a bit confident that this will work. So let's do one thing. Let's go ahead and write a few lines of code to uh, do MNIST classification. When I say few lines, I'm not kidding, just few lines. So I just say test with MNIST. Okay, that works from tensorflow.keras, or you can just do, if you already pip install keras, you can just do keras.datasets, import mnist. I apologize for this being a bit slow, but uh, I'm typing as I'm speaking. Import auto keras as ak, we know that. And uh, x train y, train and what did we do x test y test and this will be our mnist load data okay okay let's run this to see if it's working fine okay everything's fine now let me see if i can uh, type faster by talking okay our classifier is ak.image classifier, right? Or autokeras. 
and then um, let's put our max trials as three, okay? Uh, maximum three classifiers and classifier fit X train, Y train. Let me focus a second. Okay, number of epochs as two. Just uh, two epochs is fine for now. And uh, let's print accuracy. How do we do this? Uh, um, my accuracy is, uh, oh, sorry. My accuracy is, uh, uh, let's, uh, let's just do evaluate right here. Y assign a different parameter, X test and Y test. That should do, let's run it. Okay, so let's see. This is the first thing we are doing, and we get a runtime error. Too many failed attempts to build model. Um, why is that? Let's go back and uh, check this one. I think it's just that the first one, it actually tried to get this model. It didn't work out. Maybe running it one more time will initiate it in a better way. So let's let's try to do that. You see the in model 0, 1, 2. It's trying to do something there. So let's uh, do this one more time. Oh, X test, Y test. But before doing this one more time, one last check of uh, what's going on with our shape. I mean, is do do we get our X train shape to be the right shape? Do we have, uh, oh, sorry, X lowercase. Yeah, 60,000, that seems to be uh, okay. So let's run this uh, one more time by changing the number of trials to five, okay? I, I don't know, but reinitiate everything. Well, that was fast. One more time. Okay, so it's it's fitting it. So that means there is a model, well, at least one model, and it's actually going one point, uh, you know, two minutes for this one. So let me pause the video and then fast forward so you don't waste your time. Oh, by the way, while it's in the fast forward mode, I wanted to add one note. Uh, this is, uh, we're doing five maximum trials, right? So this is the first model. You see uh, up here, it says trial number one, and it did epoch number one. Now it's doing epoch number two. And it's going, I mean, it's going slow, but not as slow because this model is probably okay. You see, it's it's got too many parameters to tune, so it's fine. Now it's doing another model that's super fast. Um, no, uh, and now it's actually doing epoch one of two for this specific model. And now you see it's three and four hours. I don't think we have that kind of time. So let's stop it. Okay. And it, it'll stop any moment. Now you can see some of these based on the model, it can take like few uh, seconds, few minutes, few hours. That's why this process will be slow. So now let's change this to just like one epoch and one trial. And hopefully it will pick something that's faster. If not, I'm going to stop this video. You have an idea right now in terms of whether it is working or not, right? So the whole point of this video is to make sure you know how to install it and to make sure you know how to check it. We already tested it. It's working fine. Okay. So we are good. Okay. This is going to take a long time again, two and a half hours. So let me not waste your time, but I hope you learned something from this video and let's continue this discussion in the next video. Until then, please, please, please do subscribe to this channel. It keeps me encouraged. Thank you very much. And let's meet in the next tutorial.